Welcome to my card art. Today's video is to make a golfing card for your man. Of course, you can't leave your guy out. You got to make something fun for him. So I'm starting with some embellishments from Lawn Fawn. Please check out her site and support the small businesses because she is wonderful with her little creations. And as you could see, I'm coloring in part of the tree leaves on the top and of course the tree trunks. By the way, why do golfers hate cake? Okay, this is a really cheesy joke. Sorry. You know why? Because they might get a slice. <laughs> Okay, if you're a golfer, you got that. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm not selling anything. And as usual, I, I do not try to go ahead and make you buy a whole bunch of things. I'm just kind of letting you know what I like to use and what I make. And here I am using a very adorable little pop-up card making uh, gadget device here. And again, that is from Lawn Fawn. She has a terrific video on how to put that together. You can go visit her. It's a pop-up card, but I cut out my own and I made my own. And of course, I color them in. Since this is going to be a card that is about a themed golf event, I wanted to use a yellow inside because normally people go and play golf super, super early in the morning. So I was thinking, oh, a little sunrise, you know, yellow card that would work well. So after I colored in my tree trunks and the um, tree tops, I am kind of situating the uh, ground. I'm making this a little bit subtle. And I'm trying to make it look like the trees are standing on somewhat of an angle. Sometimes golf carts have some hills. You know, they're not always flat, especially the larger ones. And as you can see, I did decorate both sides of these uh, treetops because I wasn't sure which way do I want to use them. And uh, that's one of the reasons I colored both sides. <laughs> you can use them with the uh, tree trunk coming up on the front. So it looks like the branches are on the front and then the tree leaves are in the back. And you can obviously use them the other way, just rotate it, and you'll see it pretty shortly. I will do that. I'm gluing it all up and pressing it on the card. And as you saw, if you have a little bit of an extra glue, don't panic. You don't have to waste it. Just, you know, rub your other piece of paper right on it <laughs> and then pick up that extra glue and press down on your uh, surface. So here I'm gluing that tree atop again. And this way I'm going to rotate it, as you could see. And I was thinking, should I put it behind it? No, nope, I'll put it on the front. That's what's nice when you make something. You can incorporate different ideas and trying to figure out which way you're going to have it. So don't be afraid to try different things. Here again, I'm demonstrating to put a glue on it and which way you can have it. And I didn't glue it down because, again, I'm still trying to situate it to make sure that my card will line up just right because this will be a pop-up card. See, there's my uh, tree trunk. And so what I'm doing here is I'm going to be gluing that one down first. These adorable little die cuts are so much fun to work with. Uh, it has the coordinating uh, stamps and uh, there's so much fun you can do, you know, with Lawn Fawn. I, ju I just love her little creations. She's she's so sweet. Kelly's awesome. So, you know, I highly suggest if you guys don't know about her site, please visit her. She's She's got some fun things. <laughs> I have a lot of her items. I buy a lot of things from her because I do like it. So as you can see, here I am again. Adding some more glue on this particular tree top. And I situated the other one right on my hand because I didn't want it to lose it or have it fall off. And you see how I coordinated it? The two edges where the tree trunks are coming up front and then the leaves are behind and the one in the middle is just the opposite. By the way, if you guys like my video, could you please subscribe and hit the like button and uh, do leave me some comments. I, I really enjoy your comments. And when you comment also, you know, I see that you're supporting me and I and I love you for it. And I appreciate it truly. And I try to go on your site as well. And I do work a lot. So if it takes me a little bit of time, please be patient with me. I know some of you are so good. Sometimes I make a comment on your videos and bam, you're like right there. You're giving me a comment back and a heart. I'm like, holy cow, nobody sleeps in this world. You know, you guys are so fast with your wonderful comments. So thank you for that. But I, I do have to sleep and I do work a lot. So uh, sometimes my comments don't come back to you super, super fast. So please be patient, but I do respond to you. By the way, earlier, I just added some of those little highlights on the bottom of the uh, tree trunks. And one of the most important things I can't emphasize enough is to pay attention to the details when you're creating something, especially a card. You know, the little details make such a big, big difference. Here I have these cute little clouds. And what I did is I edged the edges of the clouds in with a light blue color. This also brings in the white color a lot more to the surface. So your card looks actually a lot brighter.
So here I'm trying to figure out which way to glue the little clouds down. And you're going to see that I'm going to be turning those little clouds. See, watch, because you can you can situate them differently. I was I was thinking maybe I could go this way or that way or the other way. Um, you know, clouds, they can they can go so many different ways. And sometimes we see shapes in them and people's faces and things like that. So you surely can do a lot of things with clouds. But I kind of went with this this method right here. So on the bottom, back to the details, on the bottom of the trees, I just add a little bit of green just to emphasize a little bit of shadowing. Not too much, just a little bit. And I have this tiny little birdie cut out too. And what I'm doing here is I cut out this bird twice because I wanted to incorporate the front of the card, which will be coming up shortly, to the inside of the card. And I kind of wanted to have that transition where the front kind of brings the inside in and then the inside kind of brings the front in. So I didn't want it to have it look too different. So watch this. See the front? Look at that. It's right there. And I have little birdie kind of continuing with a flight. See that? So what I did, I had already made the front of the card. I don't have it on the video here, but you can kind of have the idea. And then what I did is I added a little bird to make it look like he's flying in the direction that he is. And it's a continuation. And here is that awesome little flip-flop uh, way of... Uh, having a card open in the middle and then you can have something pop out. I really, really like this. And the secret to this is to use a lot of glue on only certain parts of it. And again, you can go on Lanfan's video and double check how this is done. Or I can make another one for you. I didn't want to waste too much time on the mechanism. I kind of wanted to get you uh, to see the idea of what I did with the golf cart because <laughs> I thought that was kind of different. And so the concept here is to make sure that middle section is glued in super, super tight into this card. So any small, um, you know, crystals from glitter that you might have, you don't want to have that on, on that middle section when you glue it down because you want to have this glued super tight. This card will be open many, many times. And as you can see, I'm trying to situate it so it's right in the middle. And then I just press down. So hold it, fold it, and press. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. Hold it, fold it, and press. <laughs> Say that 10 times. <laughs> hold it, fold it, press. <laughs> and so here I am taking the double-sided tape off the other side. And of course, I'm adding a little more glue. You can never have too much glue for this inter-area inter part because if this part falls off your card, basically the whole wow factor falls off. And I don't want that. <laughs> I kind of like to have the people that have my cards have that wow factor. And as you see, I'm cleaning the surface very well because from the glue and a little bit of the extra glue fallout that might be on the card or, you know, just, uh, just your hand or anything that might be on there, uh, you want to get that cleared off. So again... I'm going to be folding and pressing down. So hold, fold, and press. <laughs> and open up the card. And there it is. See how easy that is? It is so cute. You can put so many different things on here. I absolutely love this. So many different ideas that can be done with this. So I am uh, making it a little bit of, of a bouncy effect by pressing it uh, up and down. So the, um, the card, once it does open up, it'll open up very, very easily. And there's my golf ball, and I'm situating it, trying to figure out what side I'm going to be uh, putting that golf ball on, on the inside, so when it pops up, it's going to look really good. And this card is so nice, because the more you open it and close it, the better it, it works. I'm adding a double-sided tape on the golf ball, and again, I'm trying to see once I do open it up, which side it would look the best. So I chose right there. You see the dimples? Okay, you see those little dimples? One goes up, one goes down. Make sure you add the tape to the side that is the proper side. By the way, your unused tape, you can stick to the back of your tape roll because that part is not going to stick, so you will not lose the stickiness of your tape. So any unused portion, you can certainly add on to your tape. See the dimples? They're going in. So when you're adding the glue, put it on the opposite side so the golf ball dimples do not come out. <laughs> so it's really important that you don't mix up those two sides. And you can get those uh, dimples in either by using an embossing folder, or you can actually go ahead and use one of those uh, flower-making uh, ball-shaped gadgets 
Um, it just, you know, it has like a ball at the end and they have different size and all you do is you just press down on a foamy surface and you can create those dimples. So you don't have to buy anything. You can just certainly use something that has a ball round tip and press down and you have your golf ball. That's so easy. See that? And you press down. Look at that. And it opens right up. Boom. Pop. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing. I'm opening it several times. So it makes it so much easier to, uh, to work with it. Check it out. By the way, one day a player asked his coach, what is wrong with my golf game? He says, you're standing too close to the ball after you have hit it. <laughs> Here's another cheesy joke. <laughs> Anyways, if you're a golfer, you will definitely get that one too. Uh, here I have the flag that goes into the hole. So when the golfer is on the golf course pretty far away, they can see where the flag is and they can go ahead and aim the ball right into the hole. So what I'm doing here is I'm using my fingers to make sure that that tiny little flag rod has all the glue on it that I need. See, and I just kind of put it right on there. Press. And again, that's the inside of the card. And with the tissue, I just wipe up any of the extra glue. And this glue dries super nicely, so it will not leave any white residue. This is my uh, junk piece of paper that I was using to cut out different things before. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually adding a little part of the bottom section onto the flag's bottom where it indicates where the hole is, where the flag pole goes into. I hope I didn't confuse you. <laughs> I think you kind of get the idea once you see it. So it's just basically a semicircle kind of um, oval shape. You can hand draw it, but I wanted to have a little bit of a curvature and I wanted to make it easy. So I kind of took that template that I, that I cut out with another flag earlier. Like I said, I already made the front of the card. So I will show that to you pretty soon. I didn't redo that one for you in here um, on the video or anything like that. And I didn't make a video for that part, but I do have the inside part of the video as you see it. <laughs> and I have my little golf uh, cart. And I didn't want to have it just one color. I actually had a paper cut out with, uh, with two-sided colors. But I wanted to add a little bit of dimension and kind of emphasize certain parts of the golf cart. I thought it was a little bit too bland with just one color. So I'm adding a little bit of shading to it. And you certainly can have different colors. You can, you can actually add a logo there. You can add somebody's name. So for your guy, you can put his name on there. Let's say he's got a certain team that he likes, you know, for sports. You can add that on there. You can do it in team colors. I just kind of did it kind of neutral. You know, it looked good to me this way. I'm adding little details to the wheel and to the golf clubs because I wanted those to pop out. And so I'm kind of shading them in to kind of reflect a little bit of a darker shade because I figure if this is sunrise, then not everything is going to show up really, really well. So some things might be a little bit darker. But as you can see, I'm adding a lot of detail to it. So here I am just adding some more color onto the golf clubs just to emphasize them a little bit. Add that extra little shading on. And see, it's it's not hard. So you, you can kind of do your own coloring and any style you choose and, and what you want. And I'm actually adding a few little uh, ripples of the top of the golf cart there. You see that to me, it kind of looks like, um, what do you call those things? They're made out of um, flannel and they're on top of the uh, golf carts. I can't think of the word, geez Louise. <laughs> so <laughs> anyways, and the wind kind of hits them and then they fly. <laughs> they're made out of canvas. There we go, canvas tops. Holy moly, I, I couldn't think of what they were. They're canvas tops. So I added a little bit of uh, of edging on them as well and, and web, went back on the seat and added some more lines to it. So, you know, to me, again, those little details make a big difference and emphasize a lot of things. Now here I'm going to take some scrap paper, see, just like that, and I'm going to create the floor which is the grass area. <laughs> and I'm not making it straight on purpose. You know, I wanted to create a little bit of a depth, different lines going different ways. See that? And I didn't want to make it too straight either. So I'm kind of blending the edges a little, little bit, just, just because I didn't feel like having straight lines. <laughs> but you can, <laughs> if you want, you can make it perfectly straight. You can do it any way you want to. Don't forget, this is your art once you do something like this. And of course, you know, I hope one day my card art will become your card art. So this is a concept video. And all you need to do is just create your own. So you can add you know, any scenery in there, you can add people in there, you can add more golfers, 
my goodness, you can even add ducks on the pond if you want to, anything at all. But uh, I just wanted to make it kind of uh, simple and yet still interesting so the scenery, you know, still looks good. And it looked good to me. <laughs> and I made it like that. So I'm just blending in the edges. And I'm trying on my little cart right there. And then, of course, gluing it right on. So easy. Now get into the small parts when you glue. So those tiny little areas do not uh, bend back when the card is being used. And of course, when this card was received by the recipient, it had a lot of words inside and different sentiments and, and it had jokes about golfers in there. So I did not uh, take a picture of that because it was very personal. And of course, you guys know, I, I, I can't really show you too much personalization on these cards. Maybe one day I will. <laughs> but a lot of things were added on the inside to make it very personal for the person that received it. Yeah, personal for the person that received it. <laughs> That's a tongue twister too. But I think he really liked it. Look at this. So I'm pressing it down again and opening it up. And the more you do this, the more it opens properly. And that's the front that I made earlier. And I chose the golfer to be a darker shade. Earlier in my video, you saw lighter color. I cut out that shape three, four different ways and different colors just to, you know, have me kind of feel out what color I will be using for the golfer. And I wanted to make him pop, so I went with a darker color. Initially, I was going to use the golf cart as a dark, darker color, but then I changed my mind, as you saw, because obviously the golf, the golf cart is not that deep burgundy color, but the golfer is. See? And that's my other flag that I cut out earlier, and from that template was the one that I used for the card inside to make the, the uh, base of the golf ball, where, that little hole where the golf ball goes. So that was that uh, template that I used earlier. See, I'm adding a little bit of, uh, you know, area for the feet and what's under the feet. Normally when people walk on grass, you will see a little bit of indentation, a little bit of shadow. And I'm kind of creating a little visual semi-concept of, of, of people walking and maybe little footprints or anything like that. Just stuff on the grass, <laughs> you know, stuff. <laughs> And to me, you know, it just kind of made it look a little bit more 3D effect, kind of. <laughs> and uh, and the uh, on the lake, I've already added some glitter. And I'm just going around with a blue pen, highlighting some of the glitter areas. And I cut out the lake, and uh, and it doesn't have to be any particular shape. It's just it's just a little lake. You know how golfers have different lakes to make sure the balls do not get into the lakes. But of course, when I play, guess where the golf ball ends up? In the lake. <laughs> so I'm one of those people. <laughs> and there it is. You see how easy it is? And of course, on the back, you can personalize it, put your name on it when you give this card away. I did. <laughs> and all it does is pops up. And there's that wow factor. A card like this is really, really easy to make. And I just wanted you to see. See, so what I'm doing here is I'm giving you another uh, view of it, a little bit higher view, because the initial view that I had for you was much closer, so you could see how I'm making things. And you see how nice, clean, just, just very simple, and it all turned out. And it folds, and it opens easily, and that's what you want. When you give away a card, you want to make sure that it folds and opens easily. And see, the more I fold it, the easier it opens up. In the beginning, it was a little bit rougher. So this uh, template is, is a lot better when you open it and close it and open and close it. So here are some close-ups of the lake and everything else. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching. Hugs to everybody. Hope you get to enjoy all your card arts and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks again.